This video is about fractional exponents, or what is also known as rational exponents. When we have an exponent that's a fraction, we can convert between exponent form and between radical form. So here are two different scenarios. One's already in a radical, one's already in a fraction. We're going to use power over root. So in your fraction, whatever the numerator is, that's the power. Whatever your denominator is, that's the root. So if I look at my radical form, this 3 is my power, and this is the fourth root. So that 4 is my root. So when I convert this to an exponent using power over root, this is going to be x to the 3 fourths power. Going in the opposite direction, I already have a fractional exponent. So 5 is going to be my power. 3 is going to be my root. So I have the cubed root of x to the fifth. Or sometimes you will see that fifth power on the outside of the radical. They may even put it in parentheses like that. And either of those is accepted. So let's look at another example. When b is greater than 0 and d is a positive integer, the expression 3b to the power of 2 over d is equivalent to. So if I have 2 over d, this is my power and this is my root. So I have 3b, my root is d, and my power is squared. And remember that squared can either be inside or outside the parentheses, however they choose to represent this in the multiple choice. So I'm looking for which multiple choice matches, and it's going to be choice four, power over root. One more example. This time it's an explanation. Explain, using the laws of exponents, why 64 to the 2 thirds power equals 16. So since I have a fractional exponent, I can use power over root. That means that 2 is my power and 3 is my root. So the cubed root of 64 and this is an explanation but I'm going to show it in math terms or math symbols in parentheses is 4. Then 4 squared or 4 to the second power is 16. So they can ask you to explain using these rules, and you need to know that power over root is what you use for fractional exponents.